Well, good morning, everybody. What a difference a week makes. I got the tractor warming up. We got to take a round bale to the horses. Uh, if it weren't for my piles of snow, we honestly wouldn't even have had a white Christmas. And we had 28 inches a week ago on the ground. So um, we got a dusting last night, but it is what it is. They said it was going to be one of those winters. Warm, cold, warm, cold. So, so far they've been right. Uh, so we're going to take a round bale up and stay tuned. I'm not sure if we'll be able to do some barnyard cleanup too or not, but we'll get the bale up there anyway. So, stay tuned. I can't thank everybody enough. Uh, the channel's picked up a ton of subscribers this past week. We've uh, had more more views than we've ever had in the past in one week's period. And I can't thank everybody enough for uh, coming along for the ride with us. It means the world to us. It really does. My wife, she's actually starting to get into it now. And, uh, you know, she's trying to help me do some uh, video work. She she'll take like she'll take this camera and i've got the one on the tractor and that way we can give you different views or different point of view uh, but i can't thank everybody enough it, it truly does mean the world to me and if you're watching any of these videos and you haven't yet give me a thumbs up hit like and subscribe and if you want to keep coming along and not miss anything hit the hit the notification bell um, I don't put an overwhelming amount of videos up but uh, we're trying to get more content there's just not an awful lot going on here for us this time of the year um, hopefully we get another big snowstorm good grief apparently you guys like watching a tractor go through two feet of snow but um, I can't thank everybody enough so stay tuned we're gonna run around bail Welcome to Elk Creek Acres. Well, we're back at it again. Uh, so I was saying the other day, I wasn't sure, I edited part out that I shouldn't have. I, the other day when I was talking about something not working right when it's cold is my GoPro 8. I have this one on the media mod so that I can run an external mic and for whatever reason when it's cold out now it's about 30 today so we'll see but when it's cold uh, it just quits working after so many minutes I don't know why um, like in that first snow snow plowing video the other day in the morning when I was cleaning out in the dark that first part of that footage I don't know I must have shot an hour's worth that morning and uh, you know I had every intention of turning that into a couple of videos but for whatever reason it recorded about I don't know maybe 10 or 11 minutes worth of footage and then it just shut off and I didn't know it and I'll have, I guess I need to <clears throat> talk to some other people that are running the media mod on their GoPros and, and see if they've been having any troubles with them. Um, I mean, maybe it's just me. I don't know. But for whatever reason, this thing's been giving me fits when it's cold out. Now, this creek from all that snow melt the other day, right there, it was right on the edge of the banks and I mean we had as I said 28 inches of snow and then we had two days in the 50s and rain and boy that created havoc it would have been worse this would have come over the banks had it not gotten cold again 
overnight Christmas night, it got cold again. And I think that slowed down a lot of the runoff that was coming down off the hills. Hold on. I got to stop and get an Instagram picture. Look at Jake staring at me in this bale. What he's honestly saying is, it's about time, Chief. It's about time. This ground, my wife just said, that's pretty hard in there, but... We're going to try it. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I actually leave the scarifier down because sometimes it's just on the surface where it's frozen and sometimes I can break that up with the scarifiers. But we'll see. It doesn't always work when it's frozen, but we'll give it a shot. And see what happens. Well, sometimes people ask me, like I said, why I leave the scarifiers down, and sometimes the scarifiers will break through that. And then I can get it cleaned up. Probably have to shovel it into the bucket. Yeah. I know. I coming up here, I showed everybody Jakey standing there at attention like, yeah, it's about time, man.
like they're hidden, you know. Yeah, well. Let me look around the other side again quick. Yeah, it's coming, Jake. Good grief. Have some patience, man. Yeah, Jakey, it's almost Miller time, buddy. And you'll be fat and happy again. Look at these two. There is good hay sitting right over there by that fence. It's in your head, buddy. It's in your head. There's good hay over there. And you act like you're starving. All right, better get out of the way. Huh? I like it. It's not super tall either, you know, but the swivels keep it from getting tangled up. I gotta lower that bottom swivel just a little bit, but it worked out nice. Psychological because there's still some good hay here. But they act like they are starving. They see that round bell coming. Actually, they watch me way down there. They'll watch me coming all the way up the road. My father in law said he gets a kick out of it when I come up here with a bell. Look at him. Oh boy. What's wrong, Jake? You don't want to be on camera today? Hello, Cheyenne. What are you doing? No green, Shy Shy. <laughs> She's going to sneak in the big boy's stall and see if he left any green. Doubt that's happened. He don't leave much. But, as I said, what a difference a week makes. A week ago, good grief. We were buried in snow. See, there he is again. He goes right for the center of them bales. Because that's where the softest spot is. Pretty smart. For a big old chunky guy. Well, it's always a colder ride back down because I don't have that big wind block around the front of the tractor. But, I got enough layers on today, 